Why use a 40 mm lens in street photography? Let me tell you why I love the 40 mm field of view for street photography and documentary photography in this video now. The 40 mm field of view, the 40 mm lenses. Why are these lenses so special? Let me tell you, as a heavy 40 mm lens shooter, why I really love these lenses. I'm shooting lenses with a 40 mm field of view for at least three plus years. So I really know something about this field of view. I've choose it after I've used X100, the first series that is a 35 mm field of view and a 90 mm field of view. I was at the beginning at that time and I really felt uncomfortable with those focal lenses at that time. Now when I'm looking back, a combo like this is an excellent combo for street photography, but we'll talk about that in a later video. So getting to the 40 mm lenses, as you can see here, I have Fujifilm X Plus 3 with a 40 mm equivalent lens, the 27 mm f 2.8 Mark II that I've made a review, check link from the card. I have here a film camera, Aqua Optima film camera that uh, has a 40 mm full frame lens, a beautiful sonar design and it is a very small camera. I will make a review about this camera one day. I also have here another film camera, Ricoh AF with a 40 mm lens film camera. Beautiful camera also with a beautiful lens and with great results, amazing camera. Maybe I'll do a review about this film camera in another video. I also shot and I'm showing pictures from Lumix GX9 with 20 mm f1.7, a micro four thirds lens that on a full frame will give you a 40 mm field of view. I also reviewed and I have, and I really love the 20 mm f1.4 from Olympus Pro lens. Check the review here amazing lens. So I have some experience regarding the 40 mm field of view and I want to share from my experience why I recommend using these types of lenses, these lenses that will offer you a 40 mm field of view in your photography. So if you are in this kind of content, please subscribe to my channel, like the video, share my video and let's get to the subject. The first reason is the fact that a 40 mm lens will offer you the chance to compose very well. Our eyes are seeing in a 40 mm field of view in general. Our view it is focused more in our front. A 50 mm lens is not so natural for the eye. For the eye, a natural field of view it is a 40 or 45 mm field of view. Also, this is an individual feeling. But for me, I really feel that the 40 mm lens it's giving me what I'm seeing. So it is helping me to get very well composed pictures because I don't have a wide lens and I don't have the need to look at all the corners and all the objects in a wider space. It's really giving me the subject that I see in my face. So it is very easy to compose. It's not too wide like a 28 mm or a 35 mm and it's not too tall like a 50 mm. And this is why we are getting to the second reason, the fact that a 40 mm lens, it is very versatile. A 40 mm lens can be used like a 35 mm lens. You just have to back up a little if you have the space and in street photography, you in general, you will have the space. You will not have the space in your house, but in street photography on the street, you will have enough space. And also on a micro four thirds sensor, if you use a micro four thirds camera like Lumix JX9, check my review regarding Lumix JX9 versus XE4, link in the card. You'll find out that vertical sensor of a micro four thirds sensor will offer you more from the people, will offer you more from the surroundings. So you will get in a micro four thirds camera 
a field of view and a compression like on an APS-C or a full frame camera, but a taller image that will be able to get more context in your photos. So you'll be able to get buildings and all kinds of stuff like this in your pictures on a micro four cell sensor. So a 40 millimeter lens on a micro four cell sensor, it is acting like a 28 millimeter lens on a full frame sensor just cropped in the four or such format, but also bringing the subject close. It is a very versatile lens, this 40 millimeter lens in a micro four cell sensor. And I will do a special video regarding this lens on a four cell sensor. So please be sure to subscribe to my channel to check that video when I will publish it. As I've said, this lens, it is very versatile. So on a micro four cell sensor, you will get a 28 millimeter field of view with a compression of a 40 millimeter lens. On an APS-C body, you'll get a 40 millimeter field of view that will offer you the chance to compose very, very well on the street and will offer you the chance to get the 35 millimeters, how I've said, field of view by backing it up. But it also offer you the chance to do very good portraits if you have a good 40 millimeter lens by getting closer to the people. And again, on the micro four cell sensor, if you will use a lens like this, you will feel that special format, what it will do for your photography. But on a two by three sensor, as I've used these uh, lenses, you will get very good uh, portraits and you will be able to obtain pictures like they were made with a 50 millimeter lens. So you will not have the distortion of a 28 millimeter and you will not have the distortion of a 35 millimeter. So it is an excellent, excellent lens. It is a do-it-all lens in street photography, in documentary photography, and in spaces where you have some room to act. Yes, in a small space, you will want a wider lens, of course. The next reason is the fact that the 40 millimeter lens on the majority of the systems are compact lenses, are pancake lenses. Look at all the systems and you will find 40 millimeter lenses that are very, very compact. Why it is that? Because from what I've understand, it is easier to build a 40 millimeters equivalent lens because how I've said it's our natural field of view. So we have very, very small compact lenses and this means a lot for street photography because this means that you will be able to take the camera with you and make photography. On Pentax, you have a 40 mm f1.8, if I'm not mistaken, a beautiful, small, extraordinary 40 mm lens. On Nikon Z, you have a 40 mm f2, small and cheap lens. Also, this is a 40 mm, this is a 40 mm, and so on. On film cameras, we will find that 40 mm lens. On micro processor camera, the 20 mm f1.7 lens from Lumix. Very small, excellent minimum focusing distance, excellent results for what it is. So this is a very, very important reason why you should choose a 40 millimeter lens because it will be always with you. Also on Canon, you will have a small pancake 40 millimeter lens and so on. So yes, the 40 millimeter lenses are very well distributed on different systems. And I really, again, love this lens and love this field of view more than a 50 and than a 35. And the last reason, it's the fact that these 40 mm equivalent lenses are very easily to acquire. They are not expensive. These lenses are very cheap to acquire. So you'll have the chance to get a very good camera body and a very small pancake lens that will not break the bank and an excellent and extraordinary versatile lens that will help you get very, very well composed images. In conclusion, I really recommend the 40 mm equivalent lens. On Fujifilm, it is the 27 mm f2.8 Mark II lens, but also using the sports finder mode on Fujifilm, you can get the 40 mm field of view on X100V and on your 35 mm f2 lens. Check my video link in the card regarding this trick in Fujifilm. So you will get from your 35mm f2 lens, a 40mm f2 lens. And this is huge because, I don't know, another lens, a small lens, a small 40mm lens on Fujifilm with a bright and fast aperture. On other cameras, on Micro Four Thirds, you have 
the 20 mm f1.4 from olympus or from lumix 1.7 on canon you have another very good 40 mm on pentax and on nikon z and so on and of course on sony we have the 40 mm lens at f 2.5 very very small but pretty expensive so i really recommend the 40 mm lens if you didn't shoot it and if you try to shoot with 28 35 or 50 go for the 40 it will make your camera very small it will offer you the chance to get very very good compositions regarding all kinds of street scenes so this is why it's very huge this lens it is very versatile when you have a place with lots of people or when you have a place with few people in it so how i said it's a very versatile lens it's right in the middle from the 35 to 50 and you will get with this lens better compositions in my point of view compared to a 35 or a 50 this lens will not bother you this lens will be able to adapt with your shooting and of course there is no perfect focal lens yes in some situation it may be restrictive so this is why maybe you will look into other primes zooms or a second camera and so on depending on your style of shooting and if you are not a one camera man thank you for watching this video please subscribe subscribe to my channel share my video with your friends leave me a comment give it a like and hit the notification bell because i will publish all kinds of videos like this related to photography gear tips and tricks thank you for watching and talk to you soon bye bye well, let me tell you a little something about me when it's saturday night i need to blow off some steam one two three four Walking to the honky tonk like a pack of